So this is our fix for that. Finally, it's the weekend. You know what that means. What it means is we can hang out in the garage again. I'll tell you what, when you're a creative person who's spent your entire adult life in some sort of creative role, finding yourself in one that's not sucks the life right out of you. Living life one weekend at a time. Anyway, last time we were out here, we finished up those kick panels. And I am more than happy with how they turned out. As you can see here, we also went to get some welding gas. So that means we can finish up those door jam, fender, filler panel pieces we started. These ones here. Whenever you do suicide doors, they always leave an ugly door jam up there. So this is our fix for that. And we got this one kind of welded in there until we ran out of gas. So we'll have to finish welding this one up, make one for the other side. Actually, I already started one. If you haven't seen how we got those started, don't worry. At the end of this video, I'll, I'll give you a link. My favorite part about today, though, is I'm going to have something special for one of you guys. Stay tuned for that. I think I'd learn by now. I don't want to just run a bead down this, but I'm also not super worried about it warping. So I'm kind of doing a a good tack, letting it cool down and then doing it one right next to it, just moving along. I'm not really waiting that long like I would if we were going to be doing some, some sheet metal work, like we're going to do on this antenna hole. We're going to be a whole lot more concerned about warpage with that. Well, let it cool. Well, let it cool. It's kind of going. Doing like an inch, moving somewhere else, doing like an inch. Well, something ain't working here. I know we're not out of wire. I think we might be out of wire. No. Oh, I hate it when that happens. Dang it. Son of a. I try not to pay too much attention to subscriber numbers. It's just a vanity metric that doesn't really mean a whole lot. I think it's pretty cool that we've been building a community of, of regular people in regular garages having fun and doing this stuff. That's why I don't really do shorts because they grow your subscriber number, but they don't really translate into into the community that I want that I want to build here. They don't translate in, into the views and friends in the garage. You know, you guys. Anyway, so the channel is growing. It's growing slowly because I'm trying to do it organically and make a place for all of us regular guys to just enjoy it. But that being said, we did reach a subscriber milestone. We passed the 3,000 subscriber mark. That's pretty cool. That's a lot of friends in the garage. I'm gonna need a bigger garage. So as a thank you to you guys for hanging out with me, putting up with a clown in the garage, did kind of a cool little rattle can paint job on this piece of canvas here. I'm gonna stripe it up and I'm gonna give it away to one of you guys. So that filler panel, it fits awesome, except for right at the very top and right at the very bottom. So I think what we're gonna do 
is just make some little pieces that we can weld on there. That'll fill in those two little spots. Nobody will ever know. An easy way of finding those little shapes is masking tape, painter's tape, any kind of tape. We'll just stick it on there and then trace it out with a pencil or pen or marker or something and transfer that to metal. That brush has about had it. I think this might be the last time we use that. I'm gonna to have to order another triple lot from Vondago. It has definitely seen better days. Had it for years. I'm losing way too many hairs out of it. I mean, it's, it's normal to lose a couple here and there, but this is like, it's too much. Time to retire this one. Bottom, now we gotta cut the top. give these a little cleaning get them down to some good clean metal so we can weld them in there can't weld very good to that why do I always do that why are you so dumb good job for some magnets here I use magnets around here so often for so many different things. Such a good tool to have in your toolbox that you don't really think about. It's a ton of little magnets. Gas, you dummy. Gotta turn on the gas. Here's another good thing to have. Itsy bitsy teeny weeny little pliers. That'll do. That will do. Other side. And I'll show you a little trick that I do and I'll show you another reason why I use a bigger rollout disc than I have for the pad. Also, my air holes blew off. And of course, all the fun stuff that happens, happens off camera. It's a YouTuber problem. All right, other side. That should give us enough room. Make sure we 
weld next to the gas cans. Always a good idea. Why are you so dumb? I swear with all this political garbage, it's not even worth listening to music anymore. Where's my CDs? Anyway, after a whole lot of very careful measurements, we had that thing positioned absolutely 100% perfect compared to this other side we already did. And of course, Why are you so dumb? we didn't turn on the unit or the gas or even plug it in. Now we can turn it on. There we go. Why is it welding like there's no gas? There's gas. All right, well, fixed that, I think. I don't know how that got turned down, but it did. Hey, that's better. Doing the same thing we did over there, just going a little bit at a time, letting it cool down. I'm going uphill in a little, little V's, little triangles. It's working out okay. So I always get the three-inch Roloc discs, but I don't use them on a three-inch pad. I used to actually have a die grinder, one with the small one, one with the big one, but. My other one decided that it, uh, he wanted to retire, I guess. It didn't want to work no more. So I do that for two reasons. Number one, if you're using the edge a lot, you're really not wearing it out towards the middle here. So I just trim it smaller. But also, when you're trying to clean up some inside corners like this, here's a good trick for you. Cut it into a square. No, I'm not kidding. Cut it into a square. See, if it's a square, you can actually kind of contour it in a little bit. And you get it like this. And that'll get right in there. Only problem, it doesn't last so long, guys. All right, we're not gonna get carried away cleaning that up because we gotta get the fender off to shave this antenna hole. Finish up a lot of stuff in there. Those jams look a whole lot better like that, don't they? We'll finish them up when we get the fenders off again. Might be next time. You guys wanna shave that antenna hole? I think we'll do that and finish up a couple other things on these fenders and get them in a primer so they stop rusting on us. I actually don't know if this is gonna work with that brush in there, but we're gonna find out. It's like a plumber leaving his wrench in your toilet. Seems to be working so far. That's pretty cool. We'll walk out in the sun and show you out there. It worked out pretty well last time where I just had the wife throw it into a random order from the website. So we're gonna do that again. But I'm not gonna put a purchase price limit on it. I don't care if you buy a can koozie. A $4 can koozie will enter you to win that thing. Or go ahead and buy a pile of sweatshirts. Yeah, you should buy a pile of sweatshirts. Just kidding. But that's how we're gonna do it. Buy something off the website and I'll throw that into a random package sometime between now and a week or two from now. Thanks for all the support. I'm having a blast out here with you guys. If you wanna see how those filler panels started, you can find it here.